Hello everyone, in this video we will show you how to add and use the fitness feature in your app. So let's start by going to your app and clicking on the manage app section. Once you click on the manage app section, you will reach this screen where you need to click on the edit section. You will now be re redirected to my features area of your app. Now to add the fitness feature, click on the add feature button in the sidebar. Then click view all and search fitness. Click on the future to add it to your app. Once you're added the future, you will see the future listed in my features section, where you can edit, customize, and organize your added features the way you want. On the fitness section bar, you have multiple options like hide future, edit and customize future, and delete future. You can access additional options by clicking on the keep app menu and move the fitness feature down to the bottom or another folder. Now let's click on the edit and customize future button and you will be redirected to the edit future section. You can change the page name here. Click here to change the feature icon. You can select an icon from our icon library and choose a solid or outline icon as per your preference. You can select an image from our image library or upload your own custom icon by choosing the Apple and Angel versions and a separate version for your website. Let us move now to the content section. In the content section, you can start populating the future with multiple fitness plans, diet plans, and exercises by clicking on the manage fitness button. You will now be directed to the home section where you can get an overview of the entire app divided into categories like exercises, equipment, body parts, workouts, diet plan, etc. Click on the exercise tab and the menu will expand to add two more tabs under the exercises section. Add exercise and total exercises. The total exercises section will open automatically and you'll be able to see all the exercise already added to your fitness app. You will also be able to see the details like image, ID, title, and difficulty level. You can add new exercises to your app in two ways. One, by clicking on the Add New button on the tab right. And two, by clicking, clicking on the Add Exercise tab on the left sidebar. After clicking on the button, you will see the screen where you can add details of the new exercise, like the title or the name of the exercise you want to add like squats. In the steps fields, you can describe the exercise by detailing each step you want the app users to take to do this exercise in the correct manner. Next, you can add further information by selecting the suitable options from the drop-down menu. For equipment, which will be no equipment here. For body parts, you can select squats, difficulty level, which is beginner here. Next, you have some optional fields here like the total time, rest time, unit of time like seconds, minutes, or hours, number of sets, number of reps, etc. If you wish to add a video, you can select the video type from the drop-down menu. Best choose YouTube and then add the YouTube video ID. Another mandatory field here is the image. You can, you can click to add an image or drag and drop it directly from another window. Once you have filled out all the details of this new exercise, click on save and it will be saved to your app. You will see it listed under exercises tab. Click on the ellipses menu and we'll see options to edit or delete each exercise on the list. Next click on the equipment tab. Again you will see two tabs open up, add equipment and total equipment. In the total equipment tab you will see the list of all the equipment added already to your app with the details like image, card ID, and equipment names. Click on add new to add a piece of new equipment. An important thing to remember is that for any equipment to be visible to your app users, it should be added to at least one of the exercises. Now to add the name of the new equipment and click on the thumbnail section. Upload the image you want to use for the thumbnail. Click save and the new equipment will be saved to your app. You'll be able to see the new equipment listed in the Total Equipment tab with all the details. You can click on the ellipses menu on the right to edit or delete any equipment. Moving on to the Body Parts section. You will again see the Add Body Part and Total Body Parts tabs in the sidebar. In the Total Body Parts section, 
you will see the list of body parts which are already added to your app. Click on Add New to add new body part. Fill in details like the name of the new body part and icon image and then click on Save. The new body part will be added to the app and will appear at the top of the list of total body parts in the app. All the details like image, card ID, and body part will be displayed on the screen too. You can edit or delete any body part by clicking on the ellipsis button on the right. Let's scroll down and you will see the entire list. Let's move on to the workout section. Just like you saw in the other sections, when you click on the workout tab, two additional tabs will appear here too. Add workout and total workouts. In the total workout sections, you can see the list of all the workout plans that have been added to the app already. You can see details like image, card, ID, title, duration, and difficulty. Click on add new, de add new to start adding a new workout plan here. You can add all the details like the title and duration. Choose the difficulty, level, workout goal, and exercises from the drop down menu. Click the cover image section or drag and drop an image to upload it as the cover image for the workout. Click save and the workout will be saved. The newly added workout plan will appear at the top of the list of total workouts with all the details. Again, you will see additional options like edit and delete and click in the ellipsis menus on the right. Next section we will talk about now is the diet section. Click on the diet tab and you will see two new tabs appear, add diet and total diets. Here you will see a list of the diet plans with details like image, card ID, title, diet type, and cal calories. Click on add new to add new diet plan, add details like title, description, of the new diet with the loads of options to make the, next, the text look better. Next, add list of ingredients. Choose the diet type from the drop down and enter the cal calories and other nutritional information like carbs, proteins, and fat. Next, click to upload an image or drag an, and drop an image to add as the image for the diet. Click save and the new diet will be saved. The newly added diet plan will appear at the top of the list of diet plans with all the details. Click on the ellipsis menu, you will get the options to edit or delete any of the diet plans. Let's move to the application settings. For the BMR calculator, choose details like weight, unit, height, unit, show height diet plan, show height M BMR calculator, show high workout record, show high start workout button, and show high start workout button in listing and home. Add your terms and conditions and click save to update the app settings. In the language settings sections, you can edit the content as per your requirements. Click save once you are done. Now move on to the landing page tab. You can toggle the landing page on and off and select the page. You can make as many changes as you need to the website. You can upload or remove as many images as you need. Once done, click on the go back to reach the edit future page. Click on the design tab and you can explore the page elements, color, and choose the right ones for you. The font sizes for different page elements and choose to hide or high border, show or high border. Next, let's go to the in-app settings. If you enable in-app by toggling the switch next to it, Next, add details for Android and iOS payment credentials. If you need further help activating the in-app feature in your app, you can simply click on the question mark and refer to the tutorial. Once you have entered all the details for in-app, you can choose to use it as global credentials by checking this checkbox. All the changes you just made will be saved automatically, but you can also manually save them by clicking the save here. That's it. Now all you need to do is click on publish and all the new changes will be reflected immediately on your fitness app.